What up, ladies and gentlemen? Tyler Tarver here from TarverAcademy.com. I would like to first off thank LearningBird.com for sponsoring this video. So give them a shout out and uh, don't forget TarverAcademy.com. That's where I'm from. What up? Okay, so what we want to learn about today are prisms and we're going to include cubes just because they're like fancy prisms. Okay, so we're looking at prisms. Here is the best example I could find of a prism. Okay, pretend that this is sealed in and pretend there's no lip here. Okay, so that's just got to use a little bit of imagination. Okay, so, uh, so we're looking at this thing right here. All right, pretend that this is just rectangle, rectangle, and it's attached by other rectangles, okay? So, when we're looking at this, <clears throat> properties of prisms. Prisms are three-dimensional shapes, okay? So it's not going to be flat. It's not going to be like a square or a rectangle or a triangle. It's going to incorporate those shapes, but that's not what it is. It's a three-dimensional shape, okay? It is also a solid object, okay? That means that it's going to be something. It's not theoretical. It's solid, okay? It has two identical ends, okay? So, for instance, this has a rectangle type trapezoidal thing. So, it's got a rectangle there, a rectangle there. It is also has flat sides or faces. So, these would be the bases. It's all about that base, okay? I'll we'll talk about that in a second. Bases here, and these are my cross sections. They're different sizes, but... They are all the exact same shape. They're all flat sides. They got flat faces. Usually, your cross sections are going to be rectangles. It's just usually what you'll see, okay? Cross sections are the same along the length. Exactly, okay? Now, if, um, oh dear, my bad. <laughs> okay, so uh, if you're wanting to name one of these fellas, it's all about that base. Okay, no trouble. Trouble, trouble. This is a rectangle. This is a rectangle. They're my bases. This is a rectangular prism. That's how it's titled. If this was a triangle and this is a triangle and it went across all the way, you'd have rectangles on the sides. You'd have triangles on your bases. You'd call it a triangular prism. It's named after its base. Okay, so keep that in mind. All right. It is a polyhedron because it's all straight lines and flat. No curves, y'all. No curves. If it did have curves, it wouldn't be a polyhedron. What's not, what does have curves and is not a polyhedron? If you've watched my other video, it is a sphere, okay? But these are prisms. So they do have straight lines, flat. They are polyhedrons, okay? So that's what that is. Uh, let me see if I can get you a drawing of something of uh, like a triangular one. So we got a triangle there. Um, and then we would do, oh, it'd go like that. Wow, this is beautiful. Okay, so that's my best drawing I can do of a triangular prism. You've got triangles on this side, you've got that one, you got that one, and then it's connected by those three rectangles. Okay, that's a prism. All right, now real quick, let's talk about a cube. Picture a cube. You've got a perfect, like, ah, oh, what, wait. Got it. Okay, here's a cube right here. Okay, it's a prism. You got a square, you got a square connected by these. Now, <clears throat> if it's stretched out and it's got a square and a square, it's, it's still just like a rectangular prism. However, you shorten it to where all these flat surfaces are the exact same, all these are 90 degree angles. It's essentially Captain Planet. It's when all the, 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 the rings align and it's perfectly put together, therefore it's called a cube, okay? And a cube is essentially the perfect prism because it's one shape, one size fits all, everything is perfectly put together. Okay, so that's what a cube is. So you've learned about prisms and cubes. Now it's time for you to go give a thank you to learningbird.com for sponsoring this and tarveracademy.com for teaching to you. It's a great day to get your learn on. Peace! Hey, Tyler here. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out tarveracademy.com.